Turkey is threatening to resume its assault on the Kurds in northern Syria. Ankara says Kurdish forces have not pulled back from the region, which is one of the conditions set by Turkey and Russia when they agree to a six-day ceasefire that ends later today. Well, meanwhile, more salient details are emerging about the raid in which the Islamic State leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi died. A senior advisor to the Kurdish-led Syrian Democratic Forces says the SDF was pivotal in efforts to track down Baghdadi. In a series of tweets, the senior advisor said all intelligence and access to al-Baghdadi as well as the identification of his place were the result of the SDF's own work. Our source was involved in sending coordinates, directing the airdrop, participating and making the opera operation a success. All right, let's get you more on this. Want to cross over to Istanbul now to our correspondent, Julia Han, who is reporting on this story from there. Uh, Julia, what more can you tell us about uh, these revelations that the Kurds played a key role in tracking down al-Baghdadi? Now, this is all according to the Kurdish-led SDF in northeast uh, Syria. It hasn't been independently verified, but they now claim that they had an undercover agent, an asset, who managed to, to get access to the compound where the jihadist leader al-Baghdadi was hiding there in Idlib province in Syria. And this person brought al-Baghdadi's underwear to conduct a DNA test ahead of the U.S. raid to confirm that the person in question really was al-Baghdadi. Now, another important note on the timing of it all, the Kurdish forces there also claim that they have been working with the U.S. on the ground, collecting intel in the past five months. But the whole operation targeting al-Baghdadi was delayed because of Turkey's military operation, which was launched about three weeks ago. So how do all these stunning revelations fit in with this narrative of a key U.S. regional ally helping track down the most wanted man in the world, with the White House deciding to cut them loose the moment that Turkey decides uh, to uh, declare war on them? Well, it appears to have been an ongoing operation, but I also think it's important for the Kurdish forces to show the world how crucial they have been and still are in the fight against the so-called Islamic State. They repeatedly said how betrayed they feel by U.S. President Donald Trump's decision to withdraw U.S. forces from northern Syria. This basically gave green light to Turkey's military operation in the area. And now the Kurds have come under a lot of pressure in recent weeks but they're also the ones in charge of uh, detention facilities and camps holding thousands of ISIS fighters and their families in northern Syria. There have been reports of breakout attempts and it's uh, going to uh, be interesting to see how al-Baghdadi's killing will affect the situation. The SDF uh, say they have beefed up security in uh, some of the camps because they are afraid of riots. This only shows you uh, that the fight against the so-called Islamic State in the area is far from over. And it is another really crucial day for the Kurds uh, because today the ceasefire that Turkey and uh, Russia uh, agreed on expires. What do we expect to see happen today? Well, it has been a very shaky ceasefire. The Kurdish side and the Turkish side have both reported violations. The deal ends later today. It was a deal struck between Turkey and Russia to allow Kurdish militia, with, uh, which Turkey considers terrorists, to withdraw some 30 kilometers from the Turkish border. The deal also allowed Syrian regime forces, who are backed by Russia, to return to these areas in northern Syria. So overall, a very tense security situation. It's very difficult to understand what's exactly going on on the ground, but the Turkish government says that not all YPG uh, Kurdish fighters have withdrawn from the area, and if they don't do so, let me quote the Turkish foreign minister here, Turkey will wipe out the terrorists there. All right. Thank you so much. Julia Han reporting from Istanbul.